Hello everyone, we have updates on Operation Phoenix and let's go ahead and get straight on into it. Starting off with the subreddit, I did a posting over here. I will have a link down in the description below. Please, I am asking that you guys participate in this, whether you answer briefly or in more detail, either is okay because I wanna make a separate video that is more focused on your responses. So it says, share how you're feeling. Hey guys, Crypto Atlas here. Please share your honest thoughts on what's going on with Operation Phoenix. And then I give you guys four different questions. So if you can, please, please, please. Right now I've only got four people that have responded to this thread and I would love it if you guys could go show your support. So that link will be down in the description below. Over on the official Operation Phoenix Twitter account, they say Operation Phoenix team is working hard to deliver yet another utility, which will be here shortly. Exciting news that will be all over the space in the next few days. Hashtag BNB chain, hashtag Ethereum. Well, what do we see here, right? We see clearly NFTs, there's three different colors, typically signifies different degrees of rarities. NFT launchpad and marketplace. We also see staking, it shows innovative burn staking technology. Can't quite read the smaller print on here, but a little bit of a preview going on with that staking page, right? And then this other section looks like it's uh, the highlights of things that they're working on. There's a little message in the bottom right that I think was just coincidental when they did the screenshot of this. What's also interesting is that you'll see this is a VLC media player. It's a video. So this is about 29 seconds in on this video. Looks like it's a little promotional video that would be coming up here soon. And I'm really curious to see what the full details are on this because they tagged, they used the hashtags, I should say, BNB as well as Ethereum, suggestively to me, would mean that there's NFT support for both sides. The title of this is Digital Corporate Slideshow. It's 1080p. So there's some details on that that's coming in the next few days. Really exciting to see that. Let's talk about price movement. I got something really interesting I actually want to share with you guys in this one. So yes, we did close out in a red candle. I know that's not ideal. Obviously, guys, we would love to see green candles movement going up. This is on pancake swap side, okay? It's down 0.69% over the last 24 hours. $25,000 in trading volume. The buy and sell volume is even. And we do see it slightly red on the day. You can also see for the crypto market, BNB is down about 1% in the last 24 hours. Down almost 5% in the last week. And a lot of these other cryptos are also taking hits as well. So do take that into consideration. Now, you guys ready for this? If you go to Dex Screener, type in search. Let's go ahead and search for Operation Phoenix. Take a look at this, the 24 hour price change. So for pancake swap, you can see a little pancake swap symbol there. The other one is the uh, infinity swap. Shows unknown decks, but that's the infinity swap. For pancake swap, it's 0.72% of a loss in the last 24 hours. For the infinity swap, it's up 9.02%, right? I think that gets people more excited, like, oh, it's up 9%? That's a nice movement for a day. Okay, how much volume do you think it required to move that? To make it go up 9%? That whole day, the cumulative trading volume was $3,200. That's it. $3,200 caused the price to go up over 9%. Now, take into consideration, Operation Phoenix is going to be launching over on the Ethereum side around the middle of May. The amount of tokens that will be started off over there is going to be very small. So it's very likely that the price is going to catapult itself. Very little volume. The less tokens that there are, the less volume that is required to make these huge percentage gains. And huge percentage gains also ends up on the radar of other communities. On trending pages, right? 
We're talking about a 9% gain of Operation Phoenix while the market is doing what it's doing right now. And that was only $3,200 on the Infinity Swap side. Guys, when the Ethereum side comes out, what do you think people are going to be doing? They're going to be doing arbitrage. They're going to be moving some of their tokens from the Binance side over to the Ethereum side. Remember, they're bridging. There's not a new token that's being created. It's literally moving some of the tokens from Binance over to the Ethereum side. So that means there's less that exists over on the Binance side, which means that it will be even easier for the price to go up at that point for Binance. So people that are getting impatient, they're trying to sell now. Why are they trying to sell? If you're trying to sell because you're trying to get in on that Ethereum side at the very, very beginning, I hate to break it to you. It's extremely difficult to try and time these things. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of marketing that is being planned right now that we're very likely to be uh, seeing here as early as May 1st, literally right around the corner. And that's going to be going on leading up to this. People that are selling no financial advice, they might end up regretting it. A lot of people tend to sell. And then next thing you know, they buy back in at a higher price. I'm being optimistic. Let me know what you think. So then we take a look at the Twitter account. There are 2,044 followers on the Binance Smart Chain. I thought I already had this pulled up, but I can pull it up real quick. It's that easy. 1,443 holders. And that's basically it, guys. So again, please go share your thoughts. Good or bad, doesn't matter. What I'm looking for is honesty. Okay? Share your thoughts. I have that subreddit post already up. I will include a link down in the description below. I need more responses. Four is not enough in my opinion. I would ideally like to see 20 to 30. Okay? Just to give you guys an idea. So if that gives you a little bit more of an incentive to try and come over there, I've got a lot more that I would ideally like to pull from. Thank you, guys. Um, I got my referral link for Margex down in the description below. You can buy crypto on this platform. You can mirror trade off of what other people are doing, which is really, really cool if you're not that confident in your trading skills. There's also staking options here. They have leverage trading from 5x all the way up to 100x leverage trading. There's no KYC. You get started in about a minute. And on top of that, too, if you use my referral link, you can get up to $10,000 in bonuses up to right so links in the description it's available in a lot of regions if it's not available in your region some people use vpns and then also there's hg access they've changed this a little bit if you guys have been watching my videos here so this plan 99 dollars a month you can read through what the benefits are with this but there are a lot of people in this group you got over 2,000 members absolute boss mode Okay, that's also in the description. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit subscribe, uh, subscribe, hit that thumbs up like button. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Double shout out. Thank you to Victor Vegas, Worlds of Rizvi for being higher level patrons. Thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. God bless. We'll see you in the next episode.